you know, oftentimes my families ask me after the fact how to prepare for a crisis or some type of disaster. It could be an environmental disaster. No matter where you live in the country, you could have any type of disaster that can occur that's a naturally occurring event that you have no control over. And those types of situations are A, very stressful for families, and B, excessively stressful on our, our clients here with the anxiety issues and some of the unpredictability because those those events are unpredictable and you're not aware of the kind of damage or how your life is going to change. So um, one thing I always tell people to do is whatever you can do, remain calm or as calm as you can present to um, your kiddo because they're going to react based on your anxiety and it's going to make things overall much more difficult on you and your family if you can't establish some degree of personal calm. And that's a good example for your child. They need to see that going on on a regular basis because many of our kids are so anxious. Um, it's also important to, in whatever capacity you can, to, sit, to stick to something predictable. And the reason I'm saying that is a crisis or a life event or a natural disaster present themselves with incredibly incredible unpredictability. And so we want to try to fill in whatever predictability we can with routines or schedules or those types of things. Um, realizing you can't always do that, but as much as you can, it's important. The other thing is, is if you know there's going to be a life event coming up, that you have some degree of preparation, it's really good to um, talk about that and maybe create some sort of social story or um, educate, use that as an opportunity to educate and communicate about the event because that helps to reduce some of the unpredictability and the anxiety. Some of our kids just don't understand what's going on. So if we can explain that, we can explain it calmly, it's much more helpful to them in that situation. And then of course, in any event, there's always the aftermath. And in the aftermath, uh, depending on your circumstances, again, return to that schedule, return to that predictability. We know our kids um, crave, um, and they regulate through movement. So provide as much movement opportunity as you can. Um, engage your child. The more you engage and get down to play with them and, and are in their world, the more comfortable they're gonna be and the more comfortable they're gonna be in that type of life situation that's changed. If you can recover any um, items that present com comfort to them, could be a stuffed animal, could be a blanket, could be a certain object, um, it's important to keep those in place because those items will help produce calming. So whatever if you can do to encourage that, I highly recommend you encourage that. could be um, a certain pair of pajamas they like. It could be a certain sweatshirt. Um, I would really focus on adding those things you know that are um, comforting to your child in, maybe more than you would on a regular basis. And the reason I would say that's okay is because you have a lot of chaos going on. So we want to use every advantage to bring in control or some degree of control. So um, it's important that your kiddos are getting sleep during these times. So figure out a way with special blanket or whatever that you're, they're getting their sleep because if they're not getting their sleep, it's, it's a very vicious cycle. So these are just a few suggestions. The other thing I tell families to do, if, if you have kids that are picky eaters, make sure you keep on hand items that you can use in bulk just in case. I call it a just in case. And you can even plan and have a just in case backpack with certain items. So these are just a few thoughts to think about when that unpredictable situation presents itself. It could be anything. Like I said, sometimes it's sitting on the tarmac on a plane for two hours or two and a half hours waiting for a plane to take off. Sometimes it's a natural disaster. Sometimes it's a personal crisis. We, we never know what it's gonna be. But it's important to kind of think about those items and think right now while you're calm what you would do if you were in that situation rather than trying to figure it out in that situation itself. So hopefully this was helpful for you and got you thinking a little bit.